safety by recognizing signs that you might have a heart problem. And to talk about this, we bring in Dr. Kelly Powers. Good to see you, Kelly. Hey, great to be here, Lauren. Thanks for having so, me. So, yeah, heart disease is a, is a big deal. Are there signs that we should be aware of? Like, a lot of these signs, I'm pregnant, make me think, <laughs> oh, I have that sign. It's a sign of pregnancy. But no, it could be a sign of heart disease. Absolutely. So, you know, it is February, Heart Health Awareness Month, last day of February. As we wrap it up, it's important to note those subtle signs that we don't often think of. So we all know the, you know, the chest pain, the radiating pain down the arm, but we often overlook simple things like, like swollen feet. And you're right, you know, ruling out differential diagnosis. We have a term in medicine, differential diagnosis. And we look at other things. So when we rule out pregnancy, we rule out varicose veins and venous insufficiency, things like that. Mm -hmm. What's left? Well, it can be a heart-related problem. So heart valve dysfunction. Heart valves, you know, they could be congenital, but it can also be acquired. Car coronary artery disease all play a role in that as well. Yeah. Sometimes leg pain. If you're walking around and you have leg pain, right. it's called claudication. So what could that be? That could be peripheral vascular disease, lack of pedal pulses in the lower extremity so your podiatric surgeon your vascular surgeon can detect these things mm -hmm. you know pain in the legs we, we don't often think that it's related to the heart but it absolutely can be because 50 according to a study on health.com i was reading this morning 50 percent of people who have blockage in lower arteries in the lower extremity also have blockage in the heart as well that is unbelievable and for women yeah. see many people associate Heart, uh, heart disease being a, a male problem, but right. this is the number one killer in women. Right, and that's why it's so important to really look at these subtle signs. Yeah. So what else, you know, thinking about being tired, extreme fatigue. Okay, so I set my alarm for 3 a.m. this morning. <laughs> I'm here at four something, so I'm a little tired, but we're not talking about the lack of sleep. We're talking about the extreme exhaustion. And what could that be? Well, when the heart is dysfunctioning, especially a valve problem or prior myocardial infarction, which is a heart attack, Blood is not circulating to the body. And what does that mean? Blood equates to oxygen. Lack of oxygen, you're going to be really so, tired. So these are the signs. What can you do to prevent it? Yeah. So, you know, most important thing, and I think this is the biggest thing that most people miss, is that just following up your primary care. You know, going to your doctor, making sure you're going for those yearly exams. The what annual are they gonna checkup. Do? Yeah, the annual checkup. Stress exams. If you do feel that you're suffering from a heart attack, which again is a myocardial infarction, mm -hmm. go to the ER. Don't even mess around. Five minutes can mean life or death. All right. You heard it here. Dr. Kelly yeah. Powers, thank you so much for Thanks waking so. up at three. Yes. Thank <laughs> you for having me on.